Okay, today we are working on lesson 103, fractions equal to 1 and fractions equal to 1 half. So um, each of these circles is divided into parts. Together the parts of each circle make up a whole. 2 halves equals 1 whole, 3 thirds equals 1 whole, 4 fourths equals 1 whole, and 5 fifths equals 1 whole. So with that in mind, which, one, which ones of these, A, B, or C, equals, um, is a fraction that equals one whole? Is it this one, B, or C? So you'll see that 6, 6 equals one whole. Any number over itself is one whole, because that means that it's divided into that many pieces. Okay, so now, number two, write a fraction equal to one with a denominator of seven. So remember the denominator is the bottom number. The way to remember denominator is denominator down. So how many sevenths equals one whole? So if you said seven sevenths, you are correct. All right, now let's look at these circles over here. Each one of these is divided up into um, different amounts of pieces. So here we've got a circle that's divided into two pieces, one that's divided into four, one that's divided into six, and one that's divided into eight. So you can see that each one of them also, one half of it is represented in each of these circles. So um, if you have two pieces, how many of those two pieces makes one half? So one out of two pieces. And this one, two out of four pieces. And this one, three out of six pieces. So this would be one out of two pieces, two out of four pieces, three out of six pieces, and this would be one, two, three, four out of eight pieces. Okay, do you notice a pattern here that each one of the numerators is exactly half of the denominator? So with that in mind, number three, which fraction equals one half? Would it be three sevenths, four fourths, five tenths, or five ninths? Well, we know that 5 is exactly half of 10, so it would be C. Okay, so um, when we're comparing fractions, think about how, um, how each one of them would divide up. So 3 eighths, well, we know how many eighths equals, four, equals 1 half. So 4 eighths equals 1 half. Um, so you know that 3 eighths is less than 4 eighths, so 1 half would be bigger. So if we were doing this into eighths, this would be 3 eighths, and this would be 4 eighths. Okay, so now we are going to round 6 and 7 tenths to the nearest whole number. So here we have each one of these from six, from the whole number six to the whole number seven, this is divided up into 10 pieces. So here's six and seven tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It would be right here. So what is the nearest whole number that it's closest to? So we know that if it's five or less, then you would round down. If it's five or more, you round up so it's closest to the nearest whole number of seven. All right, now your independent work, go ahead and get your sheet out. And I want you to work independently on A, B, C, and D, and we'll check it tomorrow in class.